Hello, and thanks once again for spending a few minutes with me today as I continue to share on the subject matter of can you relate? This is where we're looking at times where God sovereignly came and spoke to his people. And through his intervention, you know, they went forward and they saw victory. Now, <clears throat> today's example is one I think we can all relate to. And it's the example of God coming to the man named Gideon. Um, my text is found in Judges chapter 6. And I'm going to begin in the 12th verse. And it says, And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. And Gideon said to him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord is with me, then why has all this happened to us? Our fathers have told us about the many miracles that you wrought in Egypt, but now the Lord has forsaken us and has delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. And the Lord turned to him and he said, Go in this your might, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? Gideon then reminded the Lord that he was the least of all those in the nation of Israel. He said, my tribe is the smallest and I feel like I'm the most insignificant even in my tribe. How is this gonna happen? And then the Lord said, I'm gonna be with you and I'm gonna fight for you. Now, that is a word of encouragement to each and every one of us, but let me remind you the condition in which the nation of Israel was in when this conversation occurred. Uh, the nation of Israel was in a season where they had forsaken the Lord and they were doing evil. As a result of that, uh, they became uh, subject to their enemies, and now they were impoverished, they were oppressed, they were defeated, and uh, they were in a place where their confidence was low, their self-esteem was just beat down, and they were living in fear. The enemy had come in and was ruling and reigning, and they felt like they were under their enemy's thumb. They couldn't move, they couldn't navigate, the economy was bad, it was just a bad season in the nation of Israel. And in the midst of that, God sent a prophet and he promised that he was going to deliver them out of the hands of their enemy. And then the Lord came through his angel and had that conversation with Gideon. You know, God is always looking for a man and a woman in a season of challenge. And we're in a season of challenge in our nation. It just seems like, you know, our self-esteem is down, our confidence is down, maybe in a sense our moral uh, uh, values have fallen and ethics have fallen and, and it's almost like evil is prevailing in the day that we're living in and we're wondering what's going to turn this tide, how's this situation going to change? And I love the story of Gideon because it just seems impossible but with God, all things are possible. I love that. And that he found someone, and even though he was at a low place in his own life and he didn't have confidence or faith, through a series of tests, God took Gideon and 300 men, and they thoroughly defeated the enemy. I, and it's an amazing story. And this was their battle cry. The sword of the Lord and Gideon. Do you know what that's saying? It was saying that Gideon was going to do his part and God was going to do his part. It was going to be the sword of the Lord and Gideon. It was going to be the power of God working through Gideon. And you know, can you relate to that? Maybe you're at a time in your life where you're oppressed and you're fearful. Maybe you're impoverished. Maybe your confidence is down. Listen, you and God are a majority. Get back into the word of God. Hear the word of the Lord and trust in him. Then go forward and fight by faith. Fight by faith. And you will see God wrought a victory or win a victory for you. I want to encourage you, if you can relate to the life of Gideon, maybe you don't, you feel like I'm from a small town, not, you know, not very educated, not, you know, very qualified. Listen, you're qualified because God is with you. If you have accepted Jesus, you and God are a majority. Go forward. Do not fear. God will fight for you. You go forward in faith and see what happens. God bless you. Have a great day.